Hey developers, in today's video I will show you an AI based circle smash machine that can help you with your circle writing and understanding. And I will teach you how to build one just for you. Come here and take a look. By the way, if you want to know more about this contents, don't forget to click the subscribe button and stay tuned to all of our videos. Are you struggling with your circle writing? Today, your superhero is coming. Let me introduce a great tutor to you. I promise it's the best tutor you may ever see. And that is GPT, Moscow Playground. Without further ado, let's see what it can do for us. So, we can open the code and problems, obviously, and database. Let's find the hard question. Give him a hard punch. Ha ha ha! That joke, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe the first, the first uh, hard coding problems, and we can copy that schema, right? Schema copy and tell him this is the schema, all right? And after that, we can copy the problem or the question. Uh, even the examples, it would be useful, right? And this is the questions, all right? And paste it. Okay, that's all. Uh, let's say um, if it can solve this question to us or not. So if it's the first time we talk to it, it will create a new database for you in Type Cloud Serverless. Uh, it is not a new instance or cluster, it's just a database like a, a schema in your type of instance. So you don't need to worry about your data will be maybe mixed to another guy's. So each of you can only access your database, right? Later. All right, as you can see, there are already uh, results came out, so we can just paste it. Code and paste it. Okay, let's have a try. Click the run. Did we solve this question? No, well, E. Let's copy it and came back. A few moments later. Okay, let's say the production version. So, run. Wow, that's exact. So, which means we nailed it, right? So, submit that. Wow, exact. Nice. Kudos to the modern technology, right? So, how did we make it? In the last video, we already know how to build a GPT with TidyB Cloud Data Service. If you haven't seen it yet, I will put a link in the right top corner so you can check it if you want all right so what should i do to build this gpt first thing first i will show you some conceptions in the gpt api call it will give you not only just this conversation data but also a field called openai conversation id it can mark the conversation as different compared to another so, how about the code part? Thanks to Hopo, we can use repository directly. I will put his personal page and this repository link in the description. Let's reveal the code. And click API and index.ts, which means a TypeScript. Uh, nobody wants to deploy suspicious code into their server, right? Right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, the code allows two different methods like uh, get and post within the code. Uh, I would directly go to the post part because the get just have a uh, hollow word response. Um, okay, so the post part, as I just mentioned about, there are some OpenAI conversation ID and use this conversation ID to create a database create a database yeah and the corresponding user and uh, the password and they build this password and user pair to dedicate to this database 
So um, after that, the user can do whatever they want in their database. Uh, but just in their database, they cannot bother anyone else. So that's all they can just uh, run the scope for themselves within this database. So, okay, let's work this rep repository. Okay, create fork. Moments later. Once you create the fork repository, and as you can see, you need a database URL, right? And you can enter type cloud and create new cluster. So that's cluster and it's free. And the name is GPT, maybe what's called my SQL playground. Okay, and click create. 10 seconds later. When it's created, we can click connect and uh, connect with serverless driver and generate a new password for this cluster. And we can copy it. So next step, we will enter to uh, our cell and click add new project. We need to select the repository that we just uh, forked with and click import and we need to add a new environment variable so the value would be the database url we just copied from Python cloud and the name would be uh, database url itself so uh, we just copy it from here and paste it uh, don't forget about um, click that add yeah it's important and click add and next step click the deploy that's all and wait a minute again a few minutes later after you deploy successfully you will get an endpoint that can run any circle in user themselves database and the next step we need to configure it into gpt so uh, click create and we can copy it from the github so we can enter this forked repository and click GPT config markdown. So copy, just copy, copy name and paste the name, description, instructions, and action schema. Let's create a new action and paste the schema into it. Uh, there, you need to config some server's URL right? and how to find it. So you can enter the cell, click this project you just create, like PyDB serverless, and into this domains, as you can see, they are plus two, right? And find yourselves. Uh, for example, myself is uh, tidyway serverless Vercel ice map uh, Vercel .apb, right? So just copy it, copy, and into the GPT and paste it, paste it, and that's all. You can just save it. Only me, maybe. Okay, you can test it a little bit. So, for example, select one. Click confirm. It's already talked to your Vassell Ozma, right? Uh, Vassell app. That's all for today. Want to know more about these technologies? Subscribe to us now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.